Welcome everyone to the very first Red Carpet Live here in Wimbledon. I'm so excited. I'm Jamie Morris-Levine alongside Dan Love. How are you? I'm very well. Thanks for the invite, Jamie. Yes. Nice to be here. I'm British, if you're confused <laughs> at home. This is how we talk over here. <laughs> We're in the heart of London, Dan, for the pre-Wimbledon party presented by Dubai Duty Free. And this apparently is the hottest party ticket in town. Yeah, and it is also one of the poshest parts of town as well. Everybody wants to be here tonight and we'll try and give you guys at home a bit of a taste of the atmosphere as the players arrive all the time we're going to yeah. be seeing the likes of Maria Sharapova, Anna Ivanovic, Victoria so Azarenka, many. Serena Williams and as you can hear I think the players are arriving just now. Yes so we actually are going to jump to a break stay tuned we're going to be back right after this. A great way to win a championship. Has it really been 40 years? How time flies. What started with nine women and a dollar has grown to thousands, living the dream, our dream. We were athletes who wanted to compete, and along the way, we made history. Determined to win, not just for ourselves, but for women everywhere. And once we got started, baby, we were unstoppable. Each new champion, standing taller than the last, Oh, how time flies. Not like a moon ball, like a backhand down the line. And the champions we inspire grow up so fast and we marvel with pride as they rewrite the future. Time flies and you're left breathless, astounded by your labor of love. We've come a long way, baby. Welcome back to the red carpet here at WTA Live. I am joined by Maria Sharapova. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Good. Yeah, you nice look gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so tell me who you are wearing. I'm wearing Burberry tonight. I thought I'd go pretty classy. I've got diamonds and little calfskin material, so okay. yeah. All right, so what is the whole thought process into what you wear? Is it a long process? Um, well, for me it is, I would say, because I, I don't do too many red carpets, so when I do a red carpet, I'm, I get really excited, I like to plan ahead, I want to know what I'm wearing, so yeah, I usually, you know, it takes a, a while to put things together, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. So do you like to get dressed up, or do you like to be in your casual tennis gear? I like to get dressed up once in a while, um, not too often, but... I usually prefer casual gear because that's that's the norm, you know. But it is as a woman, it's nice to be able to dress up and you know enjoy yourself and put on a great pair of heels and you know I have so many in my my closet, but I never use them. So well, tonight's the night. Exactly. Okay, so we heard that you had a event here today in London, the launch of Sugar Pova. Yes. So talk to talk to me a little bit about it. Yeah, we just launched at Selfridges, actually. It's crazy. We just launched at Henry Bendel's in August, and here we are at Wimbledon launching at Selfridges. So it's been extremely successful, and I'm really proud of it. That's awesome. All right. Well, I know everyone behind us is trying to get your picture, okay. so we're going to let you go. <laughs> thank you. So thank you. Have a great time. Hi, everyone. <laughs> All right, Dan, who do you got over there? Thanks, Jamie. Well, I'm here with another couple of guests. We have uh, Cole McLaughlin, who is Executive Vice Chairman of Dubai Duty Free, and Anna Ivanovic, of course, uh, not only a WTA player, but also an ambassador for Dubai Duty Free. You look absolutely beautiful, as always. I've got to ask you, um, what are you wearing? Thank you. I'm wearing Matthew Williamson. All right, okay. Yes. Why Matthew? He's a British designer. I love his design, and I always, it's my go to dress. I love it. I love the style, and I feel very comfortable in it, which is very important too. And be honest, how long did it take you to get ready today? About an hour and a half, which is not too That's bad. It got cut short because I was stuck in traffic, and it's surprising it's London. This might be a stupid question, but is it enjoyable to take time out and glamour up for occasions like this? Actually it is, because I, I don't really do makeup and I'm not good to do my own hair, so it's nice to get a little bit pampered up and get worked done by professionals. And Colm, you guys at DDF have been long-term partners of the WTA and an event like this, the pre-Wimbledon party here at the Roof Gardens. How important are players like Anna to your involvement with the WTA? Very important and we're very happy that Anna and Caroline are our ambassadors and have been for a number of years. And lest you ask me, it took me about three minutes to get ready and I did my <laughs> own hair. I might ask you who you're wearing as well, Colm, do you know? <laughs> Local tailor. <laughs> Does this kind of feel like a date in a way? A little date, yeah, but we, we have been involved with ladies tennis for many years. 
and we congratulate the WTA on being 40 years old or young this year. Um, and I've got to ask you what happens up there at events like this? Do you have a dance? A boogie? That's Do you why, mingle? That's why it stays private because you don't have to know what goes. No, there is there is always really nice food and good music, and I think this is one of the most players' favorite party, and they they all come together and enjoy, and you know we all get to to look nice and glamorous, which is fun too. And you both do just that. Thanks so much, Adi, for stopping by and joining to us. A lot of nice guests, guests, you're right. Good and the dancing. Too. Yeah. Have a lovely evening. We'll see you a little bit later on. Thanks very much indeed. Back to Jamie. Well done. Thank you. Cheers. Welcome back. I'm joined by WTA Chairman and CEO Stacey Allister. You look lovely Thank tonight. Thank you. Okay, tell me who you're wearing. I'm wearing uh, Amanda Wakely, one of Britain's finest. I oh, love her. That's awesome. All right, so what kind of thought process goes into what dress you choose to wear tonight? Uh, well, honestly, uh, I go to Amanda's shop, and uh, the first dress they bring to me is the one that I always get. It's always the winner. It's always the winner. They just know, and I love uh, her work, and so uh, it's a great, great honor to wear Amanda's. Okay, so how fun is it for the fans to see all of the girls out of their tennis gear, in their fancy dresses, their makeup on, looking so beautiful? Oh, look at, I think at the end of the day, we're in the entertainment business. And uh, fashion has always been part of the history of the WTA. Uh, what are they going to wear uh, opening day at Wimbledon? And what are they going to wear to the pre-Wimbledon party? Sure. So this off-court and on-court uh, duality of fashion uh, is a lot of fun for all of us involved at the WTA. All right. So if you were uh, going to pick one song, Stacy, tonight that would get you on the dance floor, <laughs> what song would that be? <laughs> Uh, I got a feeling tonight's going to be a great oh, night. Oh, good. I like that. That's awesome. Well, have a wonderful evening. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your time. All right. All right. We'll be back after this. What does it take to live our dream? A better question is, what must we give? Determination. Passion. Commitment. Forty years ago, we gave women's tennis a life and changed the lives of women forever. Opportunity. Breaking barriers. We challenged and the brave responded. Building a legacy together. Courage. Focus. Champion. We give up everything to practice, practice, practice. Gaining the confidence to play out our own destinies. Inspiration. History. We give our intensity, our passion, and show the world that we are unstoppable. Equality. Living a dream. We give our all and the rewards are limitless. And through it all, we give our love. We've come a long way. We've come a long way, baby. Hello, welcome back to WTA Live at the Red Carpet with the pre-Wimbledon party here at Roof Gardens, Kensington. I've got Angelique Kerber with me. Hi, Angelique, how are you? Hello, I'm good. And you look beautiful. Um, I've never done this before. I asked the, the first question to Anna Ivanovic about fashion. You're the second person. What are you wearing? Actually, something from me. So nothing special, but uh, I like actually my dress. What, you mean something that you own in your own wardrobe or something that you actually made? No, no, in my own, you right. know, yeah. Could you make something of your own if you wanted to? <laughs> maybe, maybe later, <laughs> maybe someday. <laughs> Now, we were talking just a second ago. You haven't been to this party before. How excited are you to go in there and see what it's all about? Yeah, I'm very excited. It's my first time here, and uh, I'm really looking forward to go now inside and see what, what's, what's happened there. Yeah, it's very glamorous, and you're in the right part of town to make it all posh as well. And it's a little bit crazy here as the players arrive all the time. There's just dozens of photographers snapping you. What do you like in that environment? Are you comfortable with it? Um, Sometimes it's nice because the fans and the photographs are seeing us not in the sports dresses, yeah. something different and sometimes I really like it. Not every day, but sometimes it's good. Yeah, it can get a bit too much, I think. Yeah. And it must be enjoyable for you guys to get dressed up and come to things like this. Of course, it's something different and I think every woman likes to dress a little bit up and uh, yeah, sometimes it's, every time. It's, it's good and I really like it. Yeah. Um, and when you go to functions outside of tennis events, what do you do? Do you, do you speak to the players still? Do you mingle? Do you get to know some other personalities? Um, I love to meet some persons and some other personalities because it's great. Also in our jobs we are traveling around the world and meet so nice people around the world. So um, I really love some, some, something like this to meet some other people. 
Well, I'll tell you what, I'll point out uh, some of these celebrities that you might not be aware of that are very big in this country. Thanks very much indeed for stopping by and talking to us, and great luck at Wimbledon this year. Hopefully get better than semi-finals. Thanks, Angelique. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more get, uh, guests very shortly. A great way to win a championship. Has it really been 40 years? How time flies. What started with nine women and a dollar has grown to thousands, living the dream, our dream. We were athletes who wanted to compete, and along the way, we made history. Determined to win, not just for ourselves, but for women everywhere. And once we got started, baby, we were unstoppable. Each new champion, standing taller than the last. Oh, how time flies. Not like a moon ball, like a back down the line. And the champions we inspire grow up so fast and we marvel with pride as they rewrite the future. Time flies and you're left breathless, astounded by your labor of love. We've come a long way, baby. When I was a child in Copenhagen, in Moscow, Belgrade, Wuhan, in Belgium, Milan, Berlin, Czech Republic, Israel, Saint Etienne, Guernsey, South Africa, in Africa, in Africa, in Romania, Vancouver, in Germany. All I wanted to be was the best in the world. Welcome back to WTA Live on the red carpet. I'm Dan Lobb alongside Jamie Levine. Um, we've had a little spattering of players thus far. Who did you grab over there? I spoke with the lovely Maria Sharapova, who was wearing a gorgeous Burberry dress. And, you know, and I talked to her about, you know, do you like being casual in your tennis yeah. gear or do you like getting dressed up? And she says, I love getting dressed up. I have so many pairs of heels that I never get to wear. You see, I thought that's why I got the gig here oh, yeah? today. So. I wouldn't be dwarfed yes. by all these tennis players. Yeah, I spoke to the gorgeous Anna Ivanovic, who you might have seen just behind. Yes, all these gorgeous. photographers oh, yes. are clamoring for more snaps. I think we might be in the way of a couple of them. Yes. Um, but I've actually never met Anna or Maria. Gorgeous. And I, I didn't realize just how statuesque they are. Yes, beautiful, tall, gorgeous, yeah. wonderful people. And uh, I actually have a bag of sugar pova over there for you. She did a launch today. Sugar pova, yeah. And she brought some candy for us. What did I call it the other day? Sugar candy. Sugar no, candy. Shara candy. <laughs> no, you were wrong. I, yeah, wrong I, yeah. Again. It's, it's often the case. Yes. So, uh, so Dan, uh, our, all of our fans at home, first of all, thank you for tuning in. You can yeah. join the conversation. Hashtag WTA Live. We're monitoring all of the tweets. Am I, am I allowed to get my phone out as we, uh, as Go we speak? Go for it. Please do. This is just to prove that it's live. Yes. I might tweet something with I think you should. hashtag WTA live on it. And you carry on talking, Jamie. And don't and mind me. I don't. I won't. And if you can see behind me, there, the, the double-decker bus that just pulled up with a number of players on it. Uh, this is uh, to commemorate the 40th anniversary, 40 Love. The bus is branded 40 Love, and there's lots of players on it. All right. So... <laughs> That's great. That's going to go onto Twitter immediately. He's going to do it immediately. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So while you do that. <laughs> Sorry, this is really mean. <laughs> You're doing all the hard work. I'm just taking pictures I and tweeting. That. I see that. I do apologize. At Dan Lobb, I'm going to tweet a picture of the gorgeous Jamie Levine. Did I tell you that you look fantastic, oh, by the way? Oh, well, thank you. you know, Anna told me that it took her an hour and a half to get ready it, it today. It took me about an hour and a half too. Yeah, I don't believe you girls. <laughs> took you five minutes? Yeah, you still look okay. good, but <laughs> five Thanks minutes. Thanks very much. Hold okay, on. Are you, um, I'm, yeah, I'm really slow at this. Okay. At WTA. Okay. And then hashtag, hashtag WTA live. live. It's, so there's no he's message. A little, he's a little slow, it's but just, it's okay. It's just a picture that may or may not work. Right. But if it doesn't work, then I'll just blame the technicians <laughs> that are about six feet that way. Did, did we talk about the venue, Dan? that this venue and this party is hosted by Sir Richard Branson. Yeah, at the wonderful Roof Gardens yes. in uh, Kensington. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is a really lovely part of town, actually. It is. And that's a fantastic shopping street up there. Harrods, not too far away. So, yeah, they've picked a very posh lo uh, location. And Sir Richard is, is obviously a big tennis fan. Yes, he is. And he's actually involved um, with Laura Robson as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, so um, hopefully we'll be chatting to Laura and uh, Heather Watson as well a little bit later on. Yes, perfect. Um, but 
know Laura's been spending a little bit of time with Richard of late. Yeah. And also, um, I'm excited to see what other celebrities are about ready to walk this red carpet. And hopefully, we're going to be able to grab them. Yeah, as Ask far them as, a few questions from the fans. Yeah, as far as celebrities are concerned in this country, I'm probably the most famous person on the red carpet at the moment. And, at the, well, at the and moment, that's definitely. Pretty, that's pretty, pretty poor. <laughs> but the they are coming in all the time. Right. Oh, my gosh. Is that just a big clump of tennis players? Look at, yes. WTA players. Yeah, look at all the players back there. So we, that's a lot of interviews for us to get through. <laughs> yeah, so you know what? Let's do this. Should we take a quick break? And we're going to come back. We'll see what players we're going to grab, what yes. celebrities are here. And we'll be back after this. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Mani Ivanovic. One of the favorite stops on a WTA circuit is here in Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships. This year we are lucky enough to stay in one of the Dubai's newest hotels, the Jumeirah Creek Side Hotel. Situated right in the heart of Dubai, overlooking the Dubai Creek, it is conveniently located on a site at Dubai Duty Free Tennis Stadium. It has 292 rooms, 5 fantastic restaurants and it's really close to Dubai International Airport. One of the most interesting aspects of the hotel is the original art collection of 482 contemporary pieces. Each piece has been specially commissioned by hotel owners, Dubai Duty Free, and many have a story to tell. What a beautiful hotel! Make sure you come and check it out when you are next in Dubai. Visit Dubai or DubaiDutyFree.com What are little girls made of? They're made of sugar and spice and sweat and fury and grit and strength that's what little girls are made of Hi there, I'm surrounded by beautiful women, many of them uh, tennis players. Uh, we're at the WTA live from the we uh, red carpet. Wed carpet is a different colour. Right. And uh, we didn't mention that it's pink, by the way. It, we'll get onto that later yes, on. We'll do it later. So, Dan, we are joined by the lovely tennis player who just came off of the bus. Melanie. Melanie. Rudin, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. What, where did that bus come from? Oh, it came from Wimbledon, actually. Yeah. Right. We were at the main site, uh, everyone met there, and then they brought us on the bus over here to the party. So How's the traffic? Because it, it can get a bit rough at this time of day. It, it did take a little while to get here, but uh, but it's good. Everybody made it, and I'm um, looking forward to, to the party. All right, how Look, exciting. tag teaming. Look, you, yes, you talk, and I'll, and I'll <laughs> see how, how well put together this is. Now. Really, really well put together. How, how excited are you to, for, for this week at Wimbledon? I'm really excited. Um, Wimbledon is one of my favorite tournaments, um, if not my favorite tournament. Um, the atmosphere, everything, I mean, the all white, the flowers, the grass, I mean, everything is so beautiful here. And um, it's really cool getting to play here. So do you travel alone? Do you travel with family when you come to big tournaments? Normally I travel with just my coach. Okay. Um, I have a couple friends coming um, this year, so hopefully uh, they'll be here for my first match. Very nice. And what about evenings like tonight? Is that a, a welcome distraction for you? Um, no, I mean, I think it's great. You know, most of the time we're all in our tennis clothes and sweating and working out, and now everyone gets to um, dress up and look nice. And, I mean, sometimes it's funny because you don't even recognize some of the other players. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. They look that different? I've done all right thus far tonight. <laughs> oh, you all look fantastic, though. Yes. It must get yeah. frustrating that you can't do this more often or not. I mean, sometimes it's why I think it's special that we have these kind of things. So everyone does um, get a chance to really dress up and put makeup on and do their hair and things like that. So it's more like a like a girly thing. Does it mean actually for you to go all through that and then you have to ride on a bus? No, it's okay. It's was bad. it a, was it a plush bus? It it was all right. Yeah, she was with all of her friends, Dan. I'm sure it was lovely. <laughs> All right, Melanie, I, I know that the party's getting ready to start, so we're going to let you go inside. Thank you for joining us, and good luck this week. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks. Melanie. Cheers. Uh, All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back after this. What does it take to live our dream? A better question is, what must we give? Determination. Passion. Commitment. Forty years ago, we gave women's tennis a life and change the lives of women forever. 
opportunity. Breaking barriers. We challenged and the brave responded. Building a legacy together. Courage. Focus. Champion. We give up everything to practice, practice, practice. Gaining the confidence to play out our own destinies. Inspiration. History. We give our intensity, our passion, and show the world that we are unstoppable. Equality. Living a dream. We give our all, and the rewards are limitless. And through it all, we give our love. We've come a long way. We've come a long way, baby. When I was a child in Copenhagen, in Moscow, Belgrade, Wuhan, in Belgium, Milan, Berlin, Czech Republic, in Israel, Saint Etienne, Guernsey, South Africa, in Romania, Vancouver, in Germany. All I wanted to be was the best in the world. Welcome back to WTA Live from the red carpet. I am joined by the lovely Victoria Azarenka. Hey. How are you hey guys? Good. How are you? I am great. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You look good too. Oh, thank you. Okay, so tell me who you're wearing and the thought process in the whole ensemble. Well, I had a couple of choices. I had um, actually a custom-made dress, uh, but I, I thought that, um, you know, I, I love black color. It's one of my favorite, and I bought this gorgeous belt in Paris, so I really wanted to 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 um, uh, to wear it out, and I, I got these new shoes, so everything is new, and uh, it's I don't know. Beautiful. It's can, we, can we pan the camera down here and show her lovely, gorgeous shoes right here? Because they are beautiful. Can we see those? We've got, we, you know, the fans at home want to know, you know, you get out of your tennis gear, you get all dolled up. We got to show everybody how fabulous you look. Do you like being dressed up or do you like being casual in your tennis gear? Uh, I love to be in my tennis gear, but being for so much and spend so much time in tennis gear, it's really nice to just get dressed and, you know, get all glammed and get your hair done, get your makeup on. So um, I really like that part too. Heels sometimes can be challenging, but uh, definitely my tennis shoes are way more comfortable. <laughs> all right. So um, last time I think I saw you, we were in Miami and you and I were doing the Harlem Shake. I don't know if you remember. It was for yeah. WTA Live. We, yeah, we did the Harlem Shake. So my question to you is, are you going to get your dance on tonight at this party? I always get my dance on. I love to dance. It's one of my favorite things to do. So definitely, yeah, I'll, I will bust out some moves. Some new moves? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I always dance. I, I just feel like what I'm doing. I don't have any names or, you know, like the shuffle or the wiggle. Is there? There's no names, but there are definitely some moves. Okay, now what song would you, that you would hear tonight that would make you go to the dance floor? Well, any of... Um, LMFAO definitely will, 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 will get me. I wonder why that. Mm. I don't know. I, I would love to see a live performance, but um, can't do that tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Good luck at Wimbledon and have fun at the party. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the party. All right, Dan, who you got? Hi, thanks, Jamie. Thank I'm with the lovely Sabine Lazicki, just having a quiet chat about how she enjoyed her ride on the bus. How was it? All right. You look beautiful, by the way. Thank you very much, but I actually didn't come on the bus. Oh, you didn't, but you no. did come from Wimbledon. I beg your I pardon. Did. Yes. <laughs> Were you practicing there? Yes, I was. So how long have you taken to get yourself to look so fantastic? <laughs> um, an hour or so. <laughs> That's good. See, I'm, I'm not that believing. I spoke to Anna Ivanovich earlier, she said an hour and a half. So you've beaten her time at least. Something around that. <laughs> how often do you do this kind of thing? I know this is a special event, it's the pre-Wimbledon party of course, but how often do you get to go out and relax a little bit and, and glamour up? Um, not too often, but this is a really nice event and I'm happy to um, you know, be wearing a beautiful dress by Lauren and um, Laurel and um, so happy to be here. Um, is that yours to keep now? No, it's not. Oh, that must get a little bit frustrating, mustn't it? <laughs> no. It's and what about all the jewellery? You get that too? It's actually mine. <laughs> Very good. Uh, and, and how much say do you have in what you wear to an event like this? How much say? How much input do you have? Is it your decision as to what dress you wear? Yes, it is. Um, and obviously I like red. It's the third time I'm wearing red, but I still love it. It's, um, it's, a, it's a lovely colour. It looks good on you. And it goes with your lipstick. Which came first? <laughs> the dress, obviously. <laughs> um, Sabine, thanks so much indeed for uh, stopping and, and chatting to us. I'll, I'll probably see you up there for a, a, 
a bubbly or something. Champagne. Thanks, Sabine. Uh, back to Jamie. Welcome back to WTA Live from the red carpet. I am joined by the beautiful Serena Williams. Welcome. Um, hi. Thank you very much. All right. So tell me who you're wearing tonight. Um, it's London, and I love um, Christopher Bailey, so I'm dressed in everything's Burberry from head to toe. It's gorgeous. So what is the th thought process? I mean, do you put a lot of time into what you're going to wear? Do you have a lot of options that you have to pick from? Uh, I do have a lot of options, but um, they, they just send, Burberry sends me lots of things, and they, I just really let them put the things together for me because I feel like, you know, they're such, they do such a good job with their design team. And I feel like, you know what, they're going to make all the decisions tonight. Absolutely. As the defending champion here at Wimbledon, how do you feel coming into this week? I feel good. I feel really good about it. I feel um, just really excited to be here and to be able to con compete. Are we going to see uh, some dancing from you tonight at this party? Well, I don't have my dancing shoes on per <laughs> se, but <laughs> any other time you may. <laughs> All right, so if there was one song that uh, you heard playing tonight from the DJ that would make you get on your feet and dance. Oh my gosh, definitely Conga by uh, Gloria Estefan. Oh, that's a good one. That's an oldie. Yeah, it is an oldie, but it, it, it's so it's an oldie but goodie. It is an oldie but goodie. Yeah. All right, anything you want to tell the fans at home that are watching? Um, hey, hope you enjoy the live show with the red carpet. Enjoy all the beautiful players on the WT. Tour. Awesome. Well, thank you and have a great week. All right, we'll be back right after this. Has it really been 40 years? How time flies. What started with nine women and a dollar has grown to thousands, living the dream, our dream. We were athletes who wanted to compete, and along the way, we made history. Determined to win, not just for ourselves, but for women everywhere. And once we got started, baby, we were unstoppable. Each new champion standing taller than the last. Oh, how time flies. Not like a moon ball, like a backhand down the line. And the champions we inspire grow up so fast and we marvel with pride as they rewrite the future. Time flies and you're left breathless, astounded, by your labor of love. We've come a long way, baby. What are little girls made of? They're made of sugar and spice and sweat and fury and grit and strength. That's what little girls are made of. WTA live from the red carpet here at the pre-Wimbledon tournament at uh, the Roof Gardens in Kensington. And I've got a Brit next to me. I'm excited. Heather Watson, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. You look beautiful. Now, I must say, some of the players have gone for a more understated look. Now, we can't say that about you. What was your inspiration and motivation for going something that stands out so much? Well, I kind of wanted to look like a fluffy tennis ball, but then I thought, got to go a bit glam as well, so I put some red lippy on. You look too nice to be a tennis ball. <laughs> Thank you. Is, do you have to tell me who that dress is by? Is that, is that in the contracts anywhere? Um, it's not, but it is by... Oh, no, if I put you on the spot here. Put me on the I'll spot. get... Uh, I'll give you some thinking time. Uh, is it a British designer, someone that we've all heard of that you've worn before? Might I have some pieces of his or hers in my wardrobe? Is, um, I'll tell you what, don't worry, I'll tell you. Have a think and we'll come back to it at some point. Okay. Let's, how are you feeling? I'm very excited for tonight. For tonight? <laughs> I'm still thinking of who I it know, is. I know, I'm I so sorry. Well, it literally, you had like two seconds before we came back live. Uh, it's my fault. I probably shouldn't have thrown that at you. Um, but when I say how you're feeling, I'm sure a lot of our viewers know that you've been suffering from glandular fever and that you're just kind of making a mini comeback, I guess. How's that all going? Yeah, it's going really well. I feel loads better than I had been feeling. I'd just been sat on the couch, eating rubbish, you know getting better. That sounds like my life. Yeah. Don't knock it. Yeah, I've been doing that for years. 
and I'm, I'm still just getting by. Um, so it obviously has an effect on being active, but an effect on your social life too. So it must be nice to be able to come out to events like this and, and feel normal. Exactly. I wasn't doing. I wasn't leaving the house for two months, so um, it's very nice. I've got my best friend here with me tonight. Um, so that's always fun, a little girl's night out. Can that ever be dangerous when you've got your best mate with you and there's some, uh, some free drinks on offer? It can be, but she's a good girl and she looks after me. And how excited are we for Wimbledon? A little bit of pressure being a British player, ranked so, so high as you are? I am so excited for Wimbledon. I don't really think about the pressure. Um, although when it comes Monday or Tuesday when I play, I might feel it a little bit in my stomach. Best of luck. Thanks for stopping by and chatting to us. I'll see you up there a bit later on. Uh, back to Jamie, I believe, who's got another guest. They're thick and fast. Hey, tennis fans. I've got JJ here. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. You look lovely. Who are you wearing? Uh, it's a designer called uh, Maria Lucia Hohen, and uh, she designs beautiful, elegant dresses for red carpets. Okay, so I saw you get out of the car just now, and the, the caught my eye was your shoes and the tassels on your shoes. So I'm going to have them pan down so we can show the fans how gorgeous your shoes are. And what shoes are those? Same designer? Jimmy Choo. Oh, Jimmy Choo. With a bag, yes. Oh, Jimmy Choo. Oh, lovely. The bag matches the shoes. It's amazing. Thank you. All right, so do you get excited coming to events like this where you can get dressed up, you get to put makeup on, and your hair is done, and you're in a dress rather than your... Tennis yes. gear? Yes, it's nice to leave the tennis shoes um, in the hotel and just uh, dress differently and look uh, beautiful. I think it's it's important for us as well to just, uh, you know, get in some nice dresses, put some makeup on, do our hair, and really, it makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the girls before was saying that sometimes they don't even recognize the, yeah, the players with true. makeup on and they're all dressed yeah. up. Yeah, we always look different. It depends on how they do our makeup, how they do our our hair, we really cannot recognize ourselves. Are you excited for the party tonight? Yes, I'm really excited for the party. It's one of the most uh, glamorous parties that we have and uh, we all look forward to it. And what are you looking forward to the most as you come into Wimbledon? Uh, I look forward to playing in Wimbledon, of course, eating uh, strawberries and cream. <laughs> uh, hopefully not seeing much rain. That's my wish, yes. and uh, having fun playing on grass. Well, good. Well, we wish you the best of luck. I know it's time to get into the party, so Thank enjoy. You. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back right after this. Thank you for your relentless spirit. Thank you for standing tall. Thank you for changing the course of history. For being strong. For paving the way. For inspiring us for writing history. Thank you for your passion, for the courage, for letting us live our dreams. 40 love. 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 Hi there, this is a WTA live event. We're on a red carpet, which is actually pink. This is the pre-Wimbledon party at the Roof Gardens in Kensington, which is in the heart of London. And there have been plenty of players uh, coming down the red carpet, and we've been speaking to many of them. And now, I believe, Petra Kevitova is going to have a chat. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. It's a bit manic here, but it's great, because we're getting to see you guys out and about, looking so glamorous and talking to us about it. So I've got to ask, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my dress from uh, Stalman, what is my sponsor. Okay, cool. And did you have a choice of what kind of dress to wear? Or were you told that's the one for you tonight? I have a lot of choices, so it was nice to, to choose something from the few dresses, and I chose this one. How often do you get to go out and to go to, to do's, to parties, to events? When? How often do you get to do things like this? I know this is a special uh, event, but do you get to go out yeah. that much through a season? Well, not that much. I mean, we have uh, some party in the tournament, and then we have uh, some uh, some things uh, during of the off season or some uh, some hours or something. So there's the special special things. And what's it like up there? What do you guys do? Do you talk to each other? Do you stay in your own little corner? Do you speak to boys if they come up to you and ask for your number? <laughs> well, 
<laughs> it's a lot of things to do, right? I mean, uh, we are speaking uh, a lot to each, to each other with the players and of course the, the boys too, I mean. And then we are trying to say uh, thank you to the sponsor, of course, yeah. that's the important thing for us too. And uh, we have almost fun. Is it nice to see the other players outside of a, a pressured tennis environment? Yeah, for sure. And when they are looking totally different with the makeup and with the hair, that's uh, that's something really special for us to see the the players in the different look. And what about Wimbledon this year? How are we feeling about it? Can we repeat that win from two years ago? I hope so. I mean, of course, that I didn't have a, a great season so far, but I hope that uh, grass is uh, special. Special so far for me, it's my favorite one. I had great memories from the uh, 2011, and uh, I have to believe that I can play my best again. Yeah, like everybody else, perhaps in the draw, has to believe that they can win this thing. Uh, what about practice? Have you been training hard the last week or so? Yeah, I, I've been practicing quite hard, and I play tournament in Eastbourne, so I have a few matches to to play too, and uh, that's I think what I really need now. So I'm looking forward for the matches in Wimbledon. Best of luck. Thanks so much indeed for stopping by and chatting to us. I'll let you go and relax and mingle up there. And if any boys do come up and ask for your number and you don't want to give it to them, just let me know and I'll go and kick them okay. out. Okay? okay right, so that's me being Petra Kevitova's boy bodyguard for the, uh, for the rest of the evening, I think. Time for another quick break. We're back with plenty more after this. What are little girls made of? They're made of sugar and spice, and sweat, and fury, and grit, and strength. That's what little girls are made of. Live from the red carpet. I just, hello, Sloan Hi. Stevens. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You look lovely. Yeah, I'm gonna suck my stomach in. Oh gosh, you are so skinny. I saw you working the the red car or the pink carpet, I should say, behind me. How do you feel about getting? I mean, the paparazzi's are crazy, screaming your name, taking tons of pictures. How do you feel about? Yeah, that? that's crazy. I was like, I was thinking the whole time. I was like, I hope my stomach looks skinny. So. <laughs> oh my God, you look amazing. Thank you. But no, I mean, obviously, it's awesome to have everyone here, and um, it's a lot of pictures. So hopefully, some of them come out good. I think they will. Okay, so. Thought process on color of dress, style of dress as you come into this party. Um, I've had this dress for probably a year, and I've never worn it. And it was in my closet. My this was my mom's outfit choice this time. So I just let her pick it out, and I just let her do her thing. So well, it looks great. Thank you. Okay, so uh, how are you feeling coming into to Wimbledon? I'm feeling good. Um, I haven't played since French Open, so um, I I'm, I'm feel good. I've play, been playing much better and really well, so I'm excited about it and um, just ready to get the tournament started already. And is your mom, I know that last time we talked to you, I'm going to actually skitch you over just a little bit. It's okay. Um, cause all the cars and all the people are behind us. So uh, last time we talked to you was in Charleston, and uh, you, your mom was traveling with you. Did she still go everywhere with you on all the tournaments? Yeah, she's here. And um, she didn't come to the party, but, I mean, she's here. She'll, she'll be around, so you'll okay, see her. Good. All right, so one song that you hear tonight from the DJ that's going to make you get up and get on the dance floor. Oh, man, I, I have no idea. <laughs> no. You don't know? No. No, I have no All idea. right, what's one of your favorite songs playing on your iPod right now? Oh, my God. I don't even know. Um, um, okay, think, think fast, think fast. Think fast. Probably Rihanna Stay. That's oh. a slow song, though. That's all right. No, it's, it's all right. Okay, good. All right, I know the party's getting ready to start, so I'm going to let you go. But thank you so much, and good luck at Wimbledon. Thank you. All right, Dan, who you got over there? Uh, hi, look, I've got Heather Watson with me again. If you're watching a little bit earlier on, I gave her a really difficult question. I said, Heather, what are you wearing tonight? And she told us all about the color of the dress and what it represented, but she failed to tell us who it was uh, actually made by. It's all right, I, I forget stuff all the time, and I can't talk properly most of the time, and that's my, that's my, that's my job, so don't worry. But now's your time. You remembered, right? This dress is by Forever Unique. And that will be forever etched in your mind won't it you look beautiful Thank you very much. thanks so much indeed and look best of luck for next week and um i'm really excited for british players in general i'll tell you what i'll let you carry on what did you, did you was that a snidey look at robson or was that a wink was that kind of a you see this is what happens yeah it's like we're live yeah and i'm having a conversation and there's always another option a better option isn't there it's all right 
I think Laura Robson is about to come over and chat. Laura, we're live, Laura. Yeah, is that all right? Do you mind? WTA live from the red carpet. Hi, how are you? Everyone looks great, don't they? Um, they look fantastic, yeah. I know. And I've been asking various players about how long it took them to get ready, and they've been saying between an hour and an hour and a half. Can you beat that? I can't. I finished training at about 5.30. And so then got in a car straight and, you know, got my hair and makeup done and came straight here. So, yeah, it was very rushed. You wouldn't know. You look fantastic. Um, I've been asking everyone this and um, Heather probably won't thank me, but she forgot who her dress was made by. I know. But um, is it a difficult question if I ask you this? No. Say, right, fine. Um, Laura, who's, who's your dress made by? I'm head to toe in Burberry today. Yeah. OK. Why Burberry? Um, well, it's one of my favourite brands anyway, and I thought the whole British theme, yeah. it works quite well. And um, yeah, they're always very helpful. Um, Heather said that she, I mean, she's got quite a striking coloured dress, and she said that maybe it was, the shoes are fantastic. I didn't actually get down that far. Um, she said it, she thought maybe it looked like a fluffy tennis ball. Have you gone for like the grass look? Um, that wasn't quite what I was aiming for, but if that's what you want to call it, then that's okay. I love it. It's, I, the, the bright colours, I think, work, especially seeing as we're in a summer month here. Just a quick question about Wimbledon. Excited? Feeling a bit of pressure? How are we? Um, I'm okay, actually. Yeah, you know, I've um, had a couple good days of practice in and um, had, a, you know, a few tough matches in, um, in Eastbourne. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty ready. See how it goes. Good luck. Thanks very much indeed for stopping by. We'll let you go up and enjoy yourself at the party. Oh, she's not that lucky. She's got to do some more interviews. As indeed, do we. Jamie, over to you. WTA live from the red carpet. I am joined by the lovely Aga Radwanska. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. You look lovely tonight. Tell me what you're wearing. Well, I'm wearing uh, Alexander McQueen dress, um, La Boutin shoes, and Louis Vuitton handbag. Very nice. You look gorgeous. So was it a, it was was it a tough decision on what you were going to wear, what handbag you were going to bring, and what shoes you were going to wear? Well, to be honest, I love black dresses, so uh, it was an easy pick. You can never go wrong with black. Exactly. It's it's always good. So have you been to this party before? Yes, I've been a couple of times, yes. And what's your favorite part about this party? You know, I love the photo booth, that we can do the crazy pictures, yeah. and I love that stuff. And do you like getting dressed up, or do you prefer being in your tennis gear? Well, I love high heels, so I have a lot of pairs at home, so uh, as you can see, I always always have them at the party. Yes, I think we need to take a shot of her shoes down here, because they're absolutely beautiful with the colors. Very, very pretty. I like yeah. the heel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, so how are you feeling coming into the tournament this week? Well, you know, um, I've been practicing here a um, couple of days already. So, well, I'm ready to go. Yeah, you ready for playing on grass? Oh, yes, always. Unfortunately, the grass season is not too long, but I'm ready for those couple of weeks. Yes, perfect. Well, I'll let you get on to the party. It's great chatting with you. Good luck. Thank you very much. All right, Dan, what are you going over there? Thank you, Jamie. Uh, Bethany Maddox and, um, is standing out on the red carpet, um, the, the, the most um, vivid colour before you arrived was the pink carpet. Um, we'll talk about the Google glasses in a sec, but <laughs> the hair, Bethany, talk me through the process. Well, I got it done Monday, so that's why it's nice and bright. I, I'm told actually it's supposed to glow in the dark. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet under black light. I haven't tested it yet. so I'm we, we can try that later. Okay. We can make that happen. All right, let's make it happen. But it was this or it was blonde. Okay, why such a difference in the options? Well, I've, I've actually been shades of blue for the last couple of years, and so I was tempted to almost go back normal. But then I saw this neon green color, and I was smitten. No, it's, it's fantastic, and it is, let's face it, so... Bethany Matic Sands, isn't it? Um, and quickly, the dress, this beautiful white creation. This is Aqua by Aqua. Um, they have some amazing stuff. They have a store here in London. Great stuff. I love. Uh, every time I've come here the last couple of years, I've bought pretty much everything in their line. Shopping better in London than Paris? Ooh, I, I love... Uh, no, the, an the, the answer is yes. It's a very easy one. I'm in London right now, so yes. <laughs> okay, let's talk about these glasses. Uh, this, is the, the, this is the Google... You're videoing me talking to you, which is live on WTA Live. That's, that's just blown my mind. That's kind of crazy, huh? 
what, so what, what, what is what is the deal? Well, the, it's Google Glass, and I've been using it for the last couple weeks, and it's connected to my phone, and where's I can. Your, where's your phone? No, it's it's. Over there, actually. I don't even have my phone on me. It, I don't have to and have it on me. Connected. And I'm still connected. Twitter, Facebook, email, Google, everything. Right, okay. And so how do you access those things? Just touch it right here. I'm recording right now so I can see the screen. You can probably see that it's on right now, but you can see a little light. Right, I can, I can see a, like a little screen in there. But it's kind of weird because people think I'm looking at them and I'm kind of looking at the screen. So it gets a little awkward, but it's, right. I love it. I mean, it's, it's so handy. Where's this going to go? I mean, do I have a say over what you do with my image? Uh, you can. You can say, say tell me right now. Um, uh, Bethany Matek stands via Google. You're not allowed to use any of this footage unless you pay me a lot of money. Uh, well, it's on video now, so you're good. Okay. <laughs> and you have to go through my agent, who's I vicious. Talk to your people. How's that sound? Okay. Um, we'll, we'll let you go very quickly. I want to get your thoughts on what you're going to go and do up there and what this party is like. I don't know. The last couple of years it's been awesome. They have great music, good food. I'm going to start in the food. Um, even that, keep the dress as white as I can, but yeah, I'm going to start with the food. Yeah. You use napkins. <laughs> yeah. Carefully positioned. Yeah, exactly. you'll, be, you'll be fine. Thank Thanks you. for stopping by. You look absolutely fantastic. Thank and all the so very much. best at Wimbledon. Cheers, Bethany. Thank you. Uh, another quick break. When we come back, we might have another couple of more interviews for you. Thank you for your relentless spirit. Thank you for standing tall. Thank you for changing the course of history. For being strong. For paving the way. For inspiring us. For writing history. Thank you for your passion. For the courage. For letting us live our dreams. 40 love. 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 Welcome back to WTA Live from the red carpet. I had an amazing time. I don't know about you. Well, I thought I was going to get another couple of interviews, but then they just threw you next to me. I thought, well, okay, fine, fair enough. But I guess I could do worse. It's been great. <laughs> it's, been, it's been pretty manic. I... I am like the I'm like the icing on the cake. This is even better. This is it. <laughs> this the is it for you. Pièce de résistance, huh? <laughs> That's right. All right. So we have to obviously thank the fans for tuning yes. in. We hope you had as much fun as we did seeing the players in their glamorous dresses and their beautiful heels. It's been so fun. Yeah, and you really get the sense that they love doing this. Yes. That coming out to events like this, and this is a very special event at the Roof Gardens Kensington, but it's nice for them to be able to get doled up and strut their stuff right, on, right. A, on a red carpet, which right. is kind of pink. And we also want to thank our great partners, Dubai Duty Free, yeah. for presenting this. It's been great. Um, so I want to know what your highlight was for this evening, besides well, getting to spend the evening with me. Well, when, when, when you've just spoken to um, Bethany Matic sands um, with the hair and the Google Glass, it's difficult to think of everything else that went before. Um, so I, I'm kind of stuck on that image and that chat. She's okay. amazing. She's brilliant. Sure. I think she's fantastic for the sport as well. So I think, yeah, chatting to, to Bethany was the highlight for okay. me. What about you? You had some superstars over you there. You know, I, uh, I was really into asking about the fashion because it's so cool to see the athletes dressed up in their, you know, in their cool gear. They, some of them, uh, Aga had amazing heels on, beautiful heels. Yeah. I mean, I, w I mean, they all looked great. It's hard to say. It's hard to pick one. Um, but I'm going to have to press you. This is my question to okay. you. Okay, yes. It That's was, the question. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to say Maria Sharapova. No, it's a bit mean very, because I thought the very, others were really good. Very <laughs> You're so uh, mean. I, mean, I know. I, I do apologize. <laughs> you do, but you, you look nice with whatever yeah, thanks you, know, very you much. got going on. Yeah, no one's really said that to me. I know, and I've why been, I I've been really sort of glowing and complimentary Somebody paid as me per script. Over there. Do you need to mention who that dress is made by? No. No. I don't, unless you would like to. No. Should we? Uh, no. Okay. Um, All right. So, you know This what? is probably getting boring for people just yes. listening to me and you have a yeah. chat, which we can do over a glass of bubbly upstairs. Yeah. Let's go see. Let's go check out the party. And uh, yeah. it's been great. Thank you very much. Oh, so actually, WTA you know, can Live. Hold that, hold that a sec. Yes. Right, I'll see you up there. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>